So I just made the most amazing low-fat chocolate cupcakes with peanut butter cream cheese frosting. And I have to share them with you because they are that good. So I went to the California Health and Longevity Institute at the Four Seasons in Westlake Village a couple of weeks ago. And I learned how to make lots of different, very interesting recipes that were translated from the fatty version to the low-fat version. This was one of them. I am not a baker. It takes a certain amount of exactness and science that I tend not to like to do while I'm cooking. I like to just throw a little bit of this and a little bit of that together and something fantastic comes up. In baking, not the case. It's all exact measurements. You know, you need to have exactly this much baking soda, exactly this much baking powder. I decided to challenge myself and do it. Now, I did do some supplements because I wanted to put my own spin on it and I have to say, it came out amazing despite my changes. And my changes made these cupcakes even lower in fat. So instead of the sugar, I used half of this whey low. It's called Sugar Made to be Healthy. I had actually never heard of it before, but I saw it in Whole Foods. And so it says one to one, the whey low to the sugar. So I thought I may as well give it a try. Four calories per one teaspoon serving and four grams of carbs. So I gave it a shot. So I did one cup of this as opposed to uh, supplemented it from the cup of sugar and then I still did the real uh, brown sugar, the real sugar. So I had that sweetness. And then because I didn't have buttermilk, it, it called for reduced fat buttermilk, I used regular milk and then I added a little bit of this fromage blanc, 0% fat. It has a tartness that I felt was similar to buttermilk, um, similar to a sour cream, but 15 calories, zero grams of fat, and uh, 2.5 grams of protein. So I thought may as well give that a try. So I did one part, I think it was a cup of milk, and then half a cup of this fromage blanc. Then for the topping, the frosting, which was already very, very light, I decided to lighten it up even further. So I did use the reduced fat cream cheese and I used the peanut butter. I actually got this peanut butter that's fresh made peanut butter from Whole Foods. So it's only organic dry roasted peanuts. Um, and then I wanted a little bit more texture and honestly a little bit more topping because I love frosting. So I added a half a cup of this fat free ricotta to add just a little bit more. Just a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a bitterness, and then also more consistency without the fat. And this is 50 calories for a quarter cup, uh, zero fat, and 10 grams of protein. So I was really upping it in terms of the protein <laughs> in all areas. Then, because I do have a tendency to lick the bowl and have a scoop here and a scoop there of the batter, I was chewing gum. This is apparently a big baker's trick. It's the way that bakers don't gain a huge amount of weight when they're making all of those yummy cakes and cookies. If you're chewing gum, you're gonna be less apt to take a spoonful of that whatever it is that you're making. Because remember, it might be just a little spoonful, but you put that spoonful on the cookie sheet and it turns into this gigantic cookie. So you just, ah, Nothing really. No, you just ate a cookie and you didn't even really enjoy it. So chewed the gum, then baked the cupcakes, pulled them out, and as they're cooling, since I also have the tendency to eat the entire thing when they're nice and piping hot, I went for a run. I've never done this before. I usually will actually sit there or torture myself looking at it, wanting so desperately to have a bite. Went for a run instead. Came back, they were cooled. I put the frosting on and because I had just gone for a run, really didn't feel like having a cupcake, which was bizarre for me, but I did have one. And um, here they are. They're amazing. They're not beautiful, okay? I'll admit, they're not beautiful. But they're so good, moist, chocolatey. Oh, I used the, a really good, high quality chocolate powder. I think it's 65% cocoa because I wanted to have that extreme chocolate explosion in my mouth. So, and then this is the nice cream cheese and uh, fromage blanc, or no, cream cheese and 
fat-free ricotta and peanut butter topping. It's just, it's light and airy and it feels like you're having an unbelievably decadent dessert. But really, in one of these, it's probably only about 150 calories and maybe two grams of fat. Oh my. Mmm. Is so good. So good. I might eat these for dinner. And it wouldn't be that, you know, on occasion you can do that. So good. So anyway, I'm also going to post the actual recipe so you can make them for yourself at home. And this is definitely going into my regular repertoire because it's not only people who like low-fat things that will enjoy these low-fat chocolate cupcakes. They are amazing. And that is your quickie in the kitchen today.